Here we are. Here we are. There's a bar. Now, we are anticipating... That's a man's face. There it is. There it is. I remember staying up all night. I was in my sixth form to take photographs off the television screen of the very first pictures that actually arrived from America that night. So that was quite exciting. There's the unmistakable image. There is the first live television picture across the Atlantic with uh, rather less than four minutes of available time left. While Britain had trouble adjusting Arthur, receiving only a few moments of poor quality reception, across the channel, the minutely adjustable French ear trumpet was triumphant, picking up 19 minutes of the broadcast. It was then that the French nearly sparked a diplomatic crisis. They made a surprise counter-broadcast back across the Atlantic via Telstar. Invading American screens was none other than legendary crooner Yves Montand. At that moment, a satellite star was born. Five weeks after the launch, British pop sensations The Tornadoes celebrated with Telstar. Now we take for granted the, the news reports, broadcasting live transmissions from anywhere on Earth. It's very easy to forget how remote everyone really was in the 1950s before the development of communication satellites. Events abroad no longer had to be filmed, packaged, put on board a plane and delivered to a broadcast centre. So when a shocking event occurred across the Atlantic, Telstar united the world in grief. The BBC Television News. At this moment, the national colours emerging from the rotunda. John F. Kennedy's funeral was broadcast live via Telstar around the world. Mourning became a global event, experienced simultaneously and collectively via satellite. <laughs> 